Hi everybody, today I want to show you how to build an LLM application with Go. I guess most of you know Langchain is written in Python and JavaScript, but there are also unofficial packages in Java, Go and other languages. Since I'm quite interested in Go and find it to be a small and beautiful language, I wanted to show you how to create an LLM application with Go. We will build a REST API with Jin and connect it to GPT with Langchain Go. You will find the link to the code in the description. Before being able to code in Go, we first have to download and install Go. Here I'm on the official website, go.dev, and there you can find a button which you have to click on and then just follow the installation instruction for your operating system. That's quite easy to do and I think it takes around five minutes to make everything work. Okay, as you can see, I'm currently in VS Code and to make it easier to develop Go applications, I think it's best to install the official Go extension. So search for Go and then click on install and enable the extension. That makes it easier to highlight the syntax and so on. In a terminal, we now have to create a new project that works with Go mod in it. And then you have to set your project name. I just call it my project and this will now create a new Go Dot mod file. So we created a new module and now we can install our packages. With the go get command, you can install the packages from GitHub. So you just have to reference the GitHub project and install everything. So we have to do this for Jin and we also have to do this for the Langchain Go package. So after installing Jin, we will install Langchain Go. Okay, now let's install Langchain Go. Okay, now let's create a main.go file. This is the file which contains our code. Inside the main.go, we first have to define a package and our package name is main. Then we have to import our dependencies, which is context and our framework gin for creating REST APIs and then Langchain Go. After importing everything, we can now write our functions. So we will first create a main function. This is the entry point for our application. This will contain our router. We first use default here from Jin, which returns an instance of the router. And then we create a router group and say our API lives in slash API slash v1. And inside that router group, we create a single endpoint. And this is a post endpoint because we send data, the text we want to evaluate with the LLM. And this will now trigger the generate completion function. And then we have to tell on which port we want to run our application. So we run it on 8080. Okay, now we have to create our generate completion function. So we define this like here and we pass in a single argument, which is the gin context. The context is the most important part of gin. It allows to pass variables between middleware and manage the flow, validate of JSON and so on and so on. So this is very important that we have it here in our function as argument. After that, we will define a struct, which defines the way our data should look. So we will use a JSON a string here, and we want to evaluate that JSON string. So we pass that variable by reference to the bind JSON method here from Jin. And if that returns an error, we will send back to the user a 400 error and say that it's invalid JSON. After that, we will use the new method from OpenAI and create an LLM instance. We also catch the error because we need an OpenAI API key to make that work. So if we get an error, we want to return a 500 error and say to the user that we've got an error here and don't want to continue with the application. If we don't have an error here, we want to use the call method from the LLM and then request the data to OpenAI. This will return an error or we will return the correct completion. And if we get an error, we also want to return a JSON object with a 500 error, so that's a server error. And otherwise we just want to return the completion and that is the completion from OpenAI and we send back a 200 response, so everything is okay. So that's the application, very basic, but this is how it works. And now we can save it and we can even compile the application to an .exe file with go build. So I think that's very nice and convenient to do with go. So we got this exe file 
I think on Mac and Linux, it will create a different file. So if you want to use that compiled version, you have to set the environment variable, the OpenAI key globally. If you don't want to do that and just make it here work in the terminal, we can just use it like this. So we set or export that variable. Set is used on Windows and export is for uh, Linux and Mac. OpenAI API key and then set the correct key. This is my API key. So now we can just run go, run main.go and this will start our application now. Okay, so this seems to work, no errors. And now we can make a request to our API. I use Postman to make my request. And as you can see, this is our API endpoint. So it's on localhost, port 8080, API v1 generate. And then this is the prompt just to check it again, here is the API, v1, and then the concrete endpoint. This is the prompt, this is our struct here. So we now make the request. Tell me a joke about LLMs and let's just check out. Yeah, we get the completion back. What did students say when the professor asked for an answer? So that works fine. And yeah, maybe if you are not that much interested in Python or JavaScript, you can take a look at the alternatives to create an LLM application. So if you liked the video, feel free to subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thank you very much. See you. Bye bye.